Aries, welcome to August. So Aries, every time of year during Leo season, you make a trine with the Leo sun and a trine is a positive aspect. So this is something really great for you to enjoy uh, this beautiful fiery trine with the sun. It's really active time for you, Aries, which I know you love. Now, some of you earlier degrees Aries, you guys that are like March 21st through March 27th, you guys have a square with Venus when Venus moves into Libra towards the end of the month. Okay. So Venus will move into its own sign of Libra, a cardinal air sign, and Libra pushes forward the fall season. Venus will move into Libra on the 29th. So this is way at the end of the month. You'll have a square with Venus and it will move into uh, the month of September also. Okay. So also you earlier degree Aries are going to have a conjunction together with the planet Neptune that's at 29 degrees of Pisces. So there may be, you know, so you're going to have things with relationships because that's Venus, value, money, beauty, all that kind of stuff. Libra, which rules legal contracts, marriage, uh, property, all those kind of things. So right after uh, Mercury retrograde ends, then this Venus square starts and things are going to be cloudy because Neptune's involved. Okay. So maybe you continue to not make major purchases a little bit longer than the rest of us because of that um, Neptune energy being close to you. Okay. Now you don't really have much going on planet wise in your sign, but you do have uh, transiting Chiron, the wounded healer in your sign of Aries. And this is Leo season, which is the child like the heart of a child. So, and Chiron can have a lot to do with your childhood in the sign of Aries. So this is a great time to heal that, to, um, heal that, that child energy, that, that, um, earlier in life energy and really heal the heart in this Leo season. I just see you having a lot of fun and enjoying it and doing the things that really bring you true joy. Those are usually the simple things of life, okay? Now, I did a little pre-reading for you, and here are the cards that I got. The first card is the Seven of Swords here. I'm using the Spellcaster's Tarot. I don't use it a lot with clients because some of the pictures are pretty intense, but it wanted to be here today. So here's the Seven of Swords, and he looks like he's sneaking off, okay? Seven, I affiliate it with your spiritual path, and here's swords, which is air energy. It's thought. It's the mind. And so here is this man sneaking off, okay, sneaking off in the night. So maybe you feel like you've been tiptoeing around people or that you can't be forthright with people. Um, there's a little bit of sneaky energy or maybe um, trying to make things happen when when it's not time. That's another way of looking at it. Now, your second card in the reading is the tower card, okay? Now, we know we have Aquarius full moon this month. This is an Aquarian card. Um, we have a lot of Uranus aspects this month. And so interesting, card number 16, which also equals seven. So technically, you got two sevens in a row. This is, remember how I was saying like on the, if you haven't listened to the month ahead report, you might want to for August for everyone. Um, the full Aquarius moon is also, I believe it was square Uranus, its own ruling planet. So the full moon in Aquarius squaring its own ruling planet. You got the tower card. So there may be some things that come to a head for you. Like maybe you feel like you've been tiptoeing around a relationship or in some areas of your life. And the tower card showing me that things are changing. Okay. But then after that, we get the knight of cups. So it looks like there's like excitement. This is, he's pursuing what brings him passion, emotional satisfaction. And it feels a lot more like open and in your face and like the sneaking card. So it looks like there's some changes that happened here, but it looks pretty successful.
Okay. So Aries, those are your pre-reading. Now let's do a live reading here. Let's see what we got here for you. Okay. Your first card here, I've got the three of cups. It wanted to come right out. Three of cups, three, you know, it's usually people celebrating. They're kind of falling into the water. There's a lot of enthusiasm here. This is for your past position. Okay. So this almost could imply like, here's your group of friends. There's the tower card that busts things up and you're kind of solo here in this one. So maybe you're having a friendship change. Maybe things are happening. It's happening. You know, Pluto's in your sign, Aquarius, at least for most of the month. And Pluto brings transformation to large groups and to friendships. So that's to be expected right now. Now your present card is the King of Wands. This is you, Aries, King of Fire king of passion. Okay. He looks really confident. And this is in your present position. Now in your future position, you got the magician. Okay. And so in some ways, like the magician, I love the magician and he shows you that anything and everything is possible, that you have all the power to make things happen. But this can also be a card of a trickster. And we know Mercury is in retrograde this month, which has trickster energy. So you want to be careful this month. Um, almost like a little extension of a Mercury retrograde for you. Just be careful the whole month, okay? Now, I want to pull a clarifying card on the magician. Anything in particular? Okay, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like a card when everything's really good, but maybe there's a little sense of boredom. There's a lot of beauty here. So don't make like impulsive buys out of boredom. Okay, especially I would say for the whole month for you, a little bit into September too. Just be careful of those boredom purchases. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and pick a card week by week here um, for each week of August. And let's see here. We're going to start off with week one. And we have the High Priestess. She's card number two. She is the Divine Feminine, the power, kind of like if you like quiet down and you can hear your inner voice. She's also affiliated with Mother Energy. She's uh, related to the sign of Cancer. And we know that starting off the month, we have the Moon in the sign of Cancer and the Sun in the sign of Leo. There's a lot of family vibes. There might be a lot of mom vibes in this too. Okay. So make sure that um, you give her the attention that she needs. Okay. Week two, here's the emperor card. Number four, major arcana, number four, kind of related to taking a pause. It's kind of funny. He's got all of his armor on and then the kids are back there. It's almost like he like took the day off, but he's still in his work gear. Okay, so make sure that it's that you do take the time to play, to spend time with family, to enjoy. Week three, you got the sun card here. And here's your, you know, it's like your childhood. Look at the kids riding the horse. And we were talking about healing that Chiron wound and really choosing some things that brought you joy as a kid, maybe bringing some of those back into your life. And our fourth week, we have the Six of Swords, a card of moving forward. Swords is the mind thought. We know Mercury retrograde will be ending the end of this month. So there shows some forward movement. That's always a good thing, all right? You're out there in your boat. Okay, so it doesn't look like a bad month for you, Aries, at all. Um, let's see where my dice are. Okay, let's roll you some dice here what you get. We had one runaway one. Okay. Sign of cancer, third house, and we've got the sun. Okay. So you rolled the sun in the sign of cancer in the third house. Okay. So sun in the sign of cancer, we're just coming out of that season. And cancer has a lot to do with mom and third house is your environment. Okay. So kind of getting like repeat things. Maybe mom is in your life or if mom is no longer with us, um, maybe you're feeling mom a lot. Maybe you're reminiscing about mom a lot. Okay. Cause there's a lot of feminine 
is, uh, not issues, feminine energy and feminine nurturing energy, because that's what cancer is, right? A water sign. And the third house is Gemini's house of your environment. It has to do with your siblings and the people around you. And it has to do with like your relationships with your siblings. And it has to do with speaking up because it's Mercury the house, and it rules the house of communication. Okay. So there's something here about your emotional needs, making sure that you speak them because in a way the sun rules the sign Leo. So in a way you rolled like, like, um, August, July and your environment. That's another way you could read it or sun, your ego, how you show up in the world in the watery sign of cancer in the third house of your environment. So you may want to, there's like social energy, but I still think your mother plays a strong role in this or a very strong woman. She may even be a cancer. Okay. I'm going to give you some power days now because you rolled the sun. We know that we have the Leo new moon on the 4th of August. So that is Sunday the 4th. So for you, your power times are going to start on Saturday, August 3rd at 7, 10 a.m. through the 4th into the 5th until the moon moves into Virgo at 5, 17 p.m. on the 5th. Okay. Now you also rolled the sign Cancer and the sign Gemini. So let's see, when will the moon be in the sign? of cancer. Well, we know it's going to be in cancer. So you do get, you get the days before the new moon too. So you really start off with July 31st, 1119 PM. The moon moves into cancer through the first, the second, the third, then you have Leo fourth, fifth, yeah, it's a nice spell there. If you want to get out of town, that's a really powerful time for you to definitely have some fun. Now we have the moon moving into the sign of Gemini. Where do we have Gemini? Not till very much end of the month. And we are looking at Sunday, the 25th at 11.04 PM through the through the 26th and the 27th into the 28th, really early in the morning, 447 AM when it moves back to cancer. So that's more power times for you. So you get some nice long spells there from the 25th all the way into September. Well, right on to the 30th of August. 109 p.m. Okay. So, and then it goes back into Leo again. So we keep looping back here. So then it would be Leo the 30th, the 31st, the first. So you got some nice long spells to, to get out of town, to have some fun, to enjoy your relationships, especially the one with yourself. Have a great August, Aries.